touch with who we are internally and just us personally, not what um, everyone thinks that we are, not what social media depicts us to be, not what our reputation says, um, getting to know us ourselves. Dance is a way for me to do that. It's a way for me to feel grounded and safe in my own body without having to justify it to anyone else. I know you're a fighter. I think that that's what that's all about in, in life. In life we need to find those ways to connect with ourselves so we can therefore connect with everyone else around us. And dance is a special and unique way to do that because we connect with ourselves and express ourselves in a way that allows others to appreciate and perhaps find something to stir new within them. And I think, again, that that's just what it's really all about. It's about life and it's about love and loving what you do and loving so that everyone else can feel it around you and that we don't feel quite so alone in our huge human family. Okay, so I mentioned that I was in Michigan for my sophomore year of college. I didn't actually go to school during that time. Um, I was teaching color guard at a place called Frederick Miller Incorporated, and they did summer clinics um, every summer for about um, like six to eight weeks. And I was a part of that. And during that time, um, my mom got really sick, and we didn't really know why. So after she went to the hospital, you know, to make a long story short, my mom got diagnosed with terminal brain cancer. And it was just, I can't really describe how big of a blow that was, just because she was so healthy, and it was such a shock. So um, I ended up not going back to school. We couldn't really afford to, to get a full-time nurse. So um, I took on a big brunt of the caretaking of my mother. And she got progressively sicker and sicker, and eventually we couldn't take care of her anymore because she kept getting injured when she was living at home. So once she went to the nursing home, I had actually just missed Zydeco auditions by about three weeks. So I called my instructors, because they were the same instructors that um, I'd had in high school, and I told them about the change in my situation, that I wanted to do it. And so um, thankfully I was able to, and I went in a little bit later in the season and um, caught up with everyone. Zydeco Open was a wonderful refuge and outlet during the direct time um, because my mom got sick in about August, we found out, and then um, she died in December, that December. And I went back to Zydeco almost right away after she died. So it was a really great um, refuge. Um, our choreography, I mentioned what it was about these, our choreography was super aggressive and um, we really had to throw ourselves into it, so that was helpful. Uh, you know, I could really throw a lot of um, intense feelings that I might not necessarily have the words to describe into my movement, and that was very valuable. But it was especially the year after that, the Tin Man show, that I was able to get a lot out of. Um, the show was about grief, the show was about the numbness of loss and the, um, the grip that the anger that comes with the loss can have on you and then uh, eventually the acceptance. And um, I definitely traveled that emotional journey a lot of times and sometimes it was really hard and sometimes it was really cathartic but I know that um, the ability to use dance and utilize the movement of all of the um, choreography that we were given and being able to put um, passion and intensity and uncertainty and numbness and anger and loss into my um, my movements every single time and be able to share that with the audience in a special way too because I had a bit of a solo at the beginning and in the middle I was able to share part of my personal journey so at the beginning of our show when the music started and we would all be um, you know swept up in the shock of the loss and then I walked out towards the audience just holding my hands up with feeling that loss um, I, I was able to live it and I had a lot of people tell me that I made them cry and that's um, not necessarily my goal when I would do that but the fact that it did do that was very special
What'd you think? Uh, I know I showed you my Tin Man show. What was, what, what'd you think about that? Oh my god, I loved the costumes and all the makeup. It was just, like I said before, such a theatrical experience and so much, you know, every little detail, you know, the, even down to the, you know, yellow brick road, which is, you know, just, just really the amount of work and effort that goes into those things. So, yeah.